In this lesson, we're going to take a look at how to get started using team members as part of Brizzy Cloud. Now, if you haven't watched the video on workspaces, I would recommend you take a look at that before we take a look at team members, because team members are linked to workspaces. Now, if you have a free account as part of Brizzy Cloud, you only have access to one single workspace, but you can have a limited number of team members. If you have a pro account or a premium account, you'll have access to multiple workspaces and multiple team members. Now, to access the team members option, you take a look next to your account options in the top right hand corner, and you can see we have team members. To add a new team member, simply click the team members option, and then you can see all of the different members that are currently associated with this particular account. You can see at the moment, it's just myself. If I want to invite team members, I can simply go ahead, pop in their email address, and then set the level or role that they have access to. We've got viewers, editors, designers, and managers. We'll come back to the user roles in a moment. Now, it's worth noting that when you create a team member and associate those with any particular workspace, they'll have access to all of the projects inside that workspace. Let me just demonstrate what I mean. Currently, the My Personal Projects has just myself associated with it. Let's just switch over to a different workspace. We'll choose the landing pages 2021. And you can see this has two team members associated with it. If we click to open that up, we can see all the team members and the roles and whether they're approved or pending after the invite. So currently you can see there are two team members and they have access to any project inside this particular workspace. Now, one of the great things about working with team members is you can see and edit their access levels at any time. You can see that the sub account is set up to be an editor. And if I hover over that, you can see it tells me all of the access rights that they have. If we want to make a change to that, we can simply click and choose from any of the four different access or user roles. So view, editor, designer, manager, and so on. And again, let's say we'll change this now to a designer. If we hover over, it'll show us all the access options that they have under that user role. So let's just say you're creating a project for a client and you want them to be able to see it inside your Brizzy Cloud account. You could set up a workspace for that particular client, and then you can set them up with an account and set them to be a viewer. And a viewer, as his name would suggest, can simply look at any given project inside that workspace. Incredibly useful to share your projects with the client. So using a combination of workspaces and team members, you have everything you need to manage your projects moving forward.